this review is pre-recorded. And when this review goes up, is all up to, or was all up to, you guys. On my community tab on my ch uh, channel page, I put up a poll asking you guys what car you wanted me to review first. Aviator Mater, Mater Hosen, Manji, Carbon Racer, Nigel Gearsley, or Kamara Kaizo. And, uh, yeah. I don't know who won yet. Currently, Carbon Nigel is in the lead. And Aviator Mater here is in a second place. But, who knows? But, um, by the time this review goes up, there should be a new poll that you guys could vote on for who, for what set of cars you want me to review after those five. Basically, the way that this poll worked was whoever got first place was reviewed first, whoever got second was reviewed second. I'm uh, reviewing these in a different order than they'll be uploaded, probably. Anyway, guys, let's get started with the review here. I, I just wanted to let you guys know that I was doing a poll there for a couple of the cars. This is Aviator Mater, and he's my all-time favorite Mater variant. From the wings to his little uh, tow hook being rolled up to the flight goggles, this has just got to be my favorite Mater. Of course, he was from the 2012 uh, Take Flight Collection, and let's get started with the review. I actually don't have any other guys from the Take Flight Collection, as you can see here. He's got some unique packaging of him flying through the air, the propeller spinning there, and he does have a new label. As seen in Air Mater, Mater Hawk performs at an air show with the Falcon Hawk stunt team when he has trouble during a daring, uh, sorry, during a daredevil maneuver. It's Lightning McQueen to the rescue. Is it a true story or a tall tale? Collect them all. You can see it's on the Cars 2 packaging with that color scheme, but it has a Cars logo instead of Cars 2. You could also get Lightning McQueen Hawk, Falcon Hawk 1, NASCAR Truck, and Aviator Mater, of which I believe the NASCAR Truck is probably the least expensive of those guys. It's trying to get uh, Mater out here. I'm pretty sure the NASCAR Truck is the least expensive but the Falcon Ox, I'm pretty sure, aren't that uh, expensive. Oh, that's a really cool package. Oh, <laughs> keep dropping things today. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. It's made her flying over uh, the field there in Propwash Junction. That's a really awesome packaging. That's probably one of my favorite packages. See, more reasons why I love this Mater. Now, the reason why he wasn't labeled as a deluxe was because every car in this line was a deluxe. Basically, no one car in this line was labeled deluxe because they were all deluxes. So, uh, I'm actually going to pick up a normal major because he looks to be a bit of a different model. Is that just me? I think his mouth area, oh, I think his mouth area is a little bit more squashed, but that's all right. This is one cool looking mater. Let's get started with the review, guys. As you can see, he has his little aviator flight cap and a huge grin. This is, of course, mater kind of dressed up as a plane. You can see his engine and the light and all the traditional mater detailing. I really like how the aviator cap is actually a separate piece on top of mater. You can also see it's kind of reflective there. He has all the traditional mater detailing all over him, all the usual mater stuff. Of course, the buckles for the hat, and he does have wings attached to him, which are at a bit of an angle. He also has these other wings at the back, so he could be like a plane. And you could just barely see the tow meter towing and salvage logo and the radiator springs sign there, or the radiator springs writing. Of course, to fit the propeller in the back, his tow hook and cable are retracted. You can see they're much shorter and a bit of a lighter color. Of course, you also have the propeller back here and a little build with the, a little setup thing built in his back with the propeller. I really like how this all looks weathered or like it was made from some older materials or from some rusty wings that aren't being used anymore. This is just such a cool mater. The propeller doesn't spin very well. It, it does move. It doesn't really spin. You have the A113 there and there's the base. He really looks like a mater that you could just pick up and fly. I think it's the angle that the wings are on that really kind of helps you feel like this is a mater that you could just pick up and fly. I also think it's just the huge plastic wings that makes him just look look like a fun mater. 
Anyway, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye now.